Well, David Ebsen and I are standing out here at, uh, well, near Chrissy Field, mm -hmm. in the Presidio, in San Francisco, and uh, it's a great spot. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful spot. It's a little, little cold and foggy <laughs> today, but that's San Francisco for you. That's right? San Francisco, yeah, yeah, can get cold and foggy out here. <laughs> Just every once in a while. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> David, you are a, a, a neat guy. You're going to tell us a little bit about how you split your life between San Francisco and the beautiful town of Cambria. Cambria, Cambria. Or Cambria. No, no, it's Cambria. All right, all right. <laughs> there are people who disagree with you, right? Yeah, there, are, there are a lot of people that disagree with me. Yeah. We'll settle on Cambria, which is down the coast of California, yeah. south of Big Sur. But first of all, you are a, among many other things, you have a blog. I do. And tell us about your blog and kind of what you try to achieve with that. Sure. Uh, my blog is called Five Blogs Before Lunch. <laughs> and it's a marketing and branding blog. Um, I'm a marketing consultant by trade. And um, I um, have been working on this blog for about two and a half years. Uh, I blog every morning, try to do five blogs before lunch. Sometimes three, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> seven, yeah, but you've got to average five. Exactly. And uh, the topics are um, you know, how different companies position themselves in the marketplace, advertising trends. Uh, I show different advertising commercials and comment on them. And I've built up a pretty big uh, community who uh, participates. Who kind of comes back and you, they have ideas and you guys gab and you've learned a whole lot of things from them and passed along a lot of information. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's a great, play, a great way to um, feel connected to the marketing community and the community at large. Uh, because just about everyone thinks about advertising and marketing and, and to, to, they always feel they're, they're experts. And we're so. going to be turning to you, openroad.tv is going to be turning to you for all of our advice. <laughs> we need help. Oh, okay. But all that's right. another topic. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. When you're not blogging and you're not working inside that box, you have mm -hmm. a big, big life outside. Sure. And you love this beautiful town of uh, Cambria. Right. And uh, sort of just describe this town a little bit. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those little islands, I'd describe it as. You know, it's an idyll idyllic little town. There's about 6,000 people. It's in the middle of the Paso Robles wine country mm -hmm. and also right next to Hearst Castle. So we've got a lot of people kind of coming and going, but there's a real close-knit uh, group of people who, who live there, um, some, some full-time and some part-time like what I do. And it's a beautiful location, physically right on the ocean. Kind of describe the, the sort of the ambiance of yeah, the Yeah, it, it's, um, well, it's, it's, they, it's called where the, where the pines meet the sea. And so there's a wonderful stand of Monterey Pines um, along the cliffs of the ocean. So you feel like you're in the middle of, middle of a forest and then you, you just take one turn and you see this uh, beautiful, you know, blue ocean in front of you. And there's lots, you know, it's, it's a place where you live outdoors. You know, it's it, um, just about everyone who's, who lives there goes walking, goes kayaking, goes cycling, just anything to get outside and feel the, you know, the, the, the crisp breeze and the cool air and, and, and just experience outside. And it really stimulates artists of all kinds, you know, plein air artists and many others. And it's helped you become a photographer and a yep. publisher of books. Uh, you've done a lot of books about Cambria and, and uh, taken a lot of photographs. But describe all of that. I have. Well, you know, uh, during that time outdoors, I started taking my camera with me because there was just everywhere you looked, there were just there was just beauty, mm -hmm. and so I started to take all of these photographs, and then I didn't know really what to do with them, <laughs> and I found this company called Blurb where you can create your own hardcover published books, and I started creating these books, and now I'm actually selling them, and I sell my photography now at local local businesses in town and. And it's really become, it's mostly a passion, but it also has a bit of a business angle for me now, too. And I've got to say, the books are really, really beautiful. Oh, thank you. And uh, they're, they're, it gives you a real sense of feeling for that town. You've got some great historical shots in there as well. Mm -hmm. And occasionally a shot of, and uh, another book that you've done of your dog, Gracie. Oh, Gracie Allen. Yes, <laughs> the, famous, the famous Gracie yeah, Allen. The famous Gracie <laughs> Allen. She is one of the star dogs of Cambria and the wonderful mailboxes around town, David. It's a great town down there, and it's probably warmer in Cambria than this year. <laughs> I, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> off, off we go. That sounds like a good plan. Thanks. Right.